morning everybody chad dos farms man the stinking donkey little donk tipped him off that i was coming because i went down to the creek first to see what it looked like now they know i'm down here and pouring cube Whoop, i'm in the mud pouring cubes is gonna have to be quick all right if you're new here welcome and howdy if you're old here welcome and howdy this is my lovely wife and i's 40 acres with our three little boys about a dozen or so longhorns one highland one ornery little franklin yep hang on let's get away from them here they're coming all right, let me dump a bag safely. Hang on. Whew. Glory. No sign of baby from this one yet. Not even puffy. June bug. I love what the rain does to your hair. It's like you get a little blowout. It's nice and soft and wavy. Franklin, I love what the rain does to your hair. <laughs> He's the honor one. That's our Highland Angus Cross. Bunny, how you doing? Phineas, Phineas, what's up, buddy? What's he doing? I'll get back to her. Oh man, that was Nelly. This is Glory. I'm sorry. No wonder you're not swollen up there, Nelly. You already had your baby. We are getting a bag though. That is definitely bigger, but not swollen whatsoever. Lily. Look how close we are. Oh my goodness. Mom's not even up there. Mom's down there. That's not your mama. Actually, that can't be your mama. Well, it's 2024. I mean, I don't know, maybe. But, yeah, that's not your mama either. Look at how they bond with the babies or with the donkeys. No name yet. Hi, little one. Hi. What you doing? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> CJ this is one of our steers that I don't think will make it through like he'll make it through this winter and then he'll be ready to eat this is mom she has not passed her afterbirth yet and last year Aaron and Kylie had me pull tipsies so that's likely going to happen probably tomorrow i've got panels i've got a way to keep her secure all that good stuff so we'll get it taken care of and i there's people in the comments say don't ever pull it don't ever this that and the other but that is definitely afterbirth that just needs to be pulled so we'll take care of it mj what's up buddy what's up buddy you're squaring up you squaring up huh <laughs> So I'm thinking, not decided yet, but of course Fiona is the princess in Shrek, right? And her, she had a daughter named Felicia, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't want to say I don't like the name Felicia, but I don't. I'm sorry if you're watching this Felicia's across the world, but why not princess? I think princess makes the most sense. So I think that's what's going to happen. Man, he is really trying to square up on me. Hey, Frank around and find out, buddy. Frank around and find out. <laughs> I'm no dummy. Once he looks like his dad, I'll be in a lot of trouble. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Maximus. What's up, buddy? 
Hi, buddy. What's you doing? Hmm? Sunny. Yeah, that's a tipsy move. We just figured this out like in the last six months. Sure did. Miss Bell, how are you? I won't touch you. I'll let you eat. You got your own little spot down here. It's okay. It's all right. Look at him. Such a stinker. So, it's official. We're going to have to get us a hot wire. There's another one down there. There's two more down there. They're not wrecking what I drove, but if there is just a hint, a blade of grass coming through the fence and they get a lick of it, it's over. So, I don't know what I did, but I must have done something wrong. But I sprayed my vegetation control and it rained hard. And I think I lost most of it. You can see right here, it worked in some areas, but not all of them, like where it gets the most wetness, moisture, rain. So yeah, gonna have to do something there. This is even pulled up, like on the fence itself. That's weird. They didn't do that, the fence is just high. But we're gonna fix it. It has nothing to do with food. I've been giving them two bags. They have hay all day long. We even have more hay coming. It's just a simple truth. If they taste a little bit of that green stuff on the other side, they're gonna mess with it. There's honey. So Princess, Honey, and MJ. And we're still waiting on one more from Glory who has moved to the bottom down there. And what's strange is that vegetation control seemed to be working up here because none of the posts are up. There's just something about, I guess because of all the runoff that they're uh, messing with us on this side, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said in the previous video, it doesn't matter. Our neighbor been farming since the 70s, him and his family, and they've got 800 acres. They've got a legit hay field where they just grow hay and their cows still try and get to the grass on the other side. It's just how it is. So we're definitely gonna have to go hot wire. I'm definitely gonna have to really come in through here thick with the uh, vegetation control and just get it sorted. But that's what I do. Take care of my cows and make sure nobody can get into the road and get in a bad situation or cause a bad situation for that matter. So we'll get it sorted. Hang on a minute. Okay, it's only been like 10 minutes since I left you guys, but I can't shut my tractor off because it's regenning. If you don't know what that means, diesels create a lot of like nasty emission stuff and in diesel trucks, you run something called DEF fluid, which I'm not even super familiar with because I bought a gasser, a, heavy, a super duty. But what it means is, hang on. I didn't think this through. I opened this one and I can't open that one to block them in. But uh, yeah, I don't need uh, def fluid in my tractor. It does what's called regenning, where it runs at a higher RPM automatically, probably every 30, 40 hours for me, depending on how hard you run your tractor. But long story short, when it starts to regen, you got to crank the RPMs up and just let it do its thing. You don't shut it off. And it gets so hot and runs so hot, it burns off the stuff that, uh, you know, the crud that builds up. Miss Bale, man, you are a beautiful cow. My goodness. When it's doing that, you just gotta let it do its thing. So that's why it's cranked up all the way. Fiona, I'm gonna get a real good look at the baby here in a minute. He's so careful. Come on, buddy. Let's, here, I'll step back. OK. 
Come on. Come on. You can do it. Honey, it's okay. You can't stay over there for sure because the fence is up and you'll go right under it, or you could. Get your sister. Come on, princess. Come on. Woo! Come on. But I tell you that about the tractor because I apologize. I can't shut it off right now. Come on. Woo! Look at Aunt Sunny bringing up the rear. That a girl. Woo! What's up, buddy? What's she doing? What are we doing? You are so pretty. My goodness. Some time with MJ. That's Maximus Jr. We never really settled on a name, so he just got Maximus Jr. Hi, Bunny. Miss Bell. Hey, there's a song about you. Yeah, asking Miss Bell for some of her sweet tea. Now listen, Maximus is the daddy of your little buddy. Have you given Maximus some of your sweet tea lately? <laughs> I said what I said. I don't even like the sweet tea, actually. It's weird, I don't like drinking leaves. I know, hey, we can still be friends. Just because I don't like tea. Ray Ann drinks enough tea for the world. Let me tell you about it. When she sweats, it smells like sweet tea. That's actually kind of hot. Okay, listen. I'm going to go fix the fence. It's my fault. I assume full responsibility. You definitely get out of uh, Nelly's way. It's like musical hay. Woo! This actually isn't a bad time to do it because I've got my fly spray. I really need to set up my panels, set up my chute so I can run the calves through there, give them their shots, all that good stuff. I'd love to run Franklin through there just because uh, all the times he's turned and tried to knock me down, I think he needs one. Yeah, I do. But man, he is gonna be, and pardon my whatever, I know you guys love Frank, some of y'all. I know you love him even though we're gonna eat him. I am so excited to fill our freezer with an animal that we raised, that we know what he ate, you know, he's more or less been on the same grain since day one from our local feed store or grass that we've got. I think there's no water in this pasture and I'm getting ready to lock them out of it. So I'm gonna go get some, she's definitely bagging up though. I'm gonna go get some water and bring it up here with our tote like we did. You guys have asked about drilling a well. I haven't even looked into it. I don't know what it would cost. Um, it would have to be really, really efficient to do it. It would have to be very, very cost efficient to do it because let's say we drilled a well. Hey, easy, brother. Do that. If we drilled a well up here, let's say it's 20 grand. Okay. That's a lot of, that's a lot of dinero. Okay. Then we got to get power up here to power the well. And I know they make solar options. That's, that may be an option. I haven't looked into it, but is it worth it versus just running three or four more hoses? Because in reality, the cost to run a PEX line up here or Ubinor, whatever you want to use, a water line, even PVC, the cost of running that would be way, way less than a well. So I think that's the route we're going to go. I've just got 10 million projects and yeah, that's that. We also got to take care of ourselves. Okay. I read something last night. You guys know who Roman Atwood is? I didn't read it. I heard him say it. he started a new channel he's posting like every single day he's been somebody i've looked up to for a very long time we're the exact same age he basically pioneered vlogging i mean straight up he said something the other day and I, i'm in good health i got nothing wrong I'm, I'm very blessed amen right roman said something that i will probably take and share as far as i can and i don't know if he coined it i don't know if he heard it but 
You can have 99 problems, a thousand problems, as Roman put it, like the fence needing fixing, water source to your top pasture, uh, this animal getting out, that animal getting out, uh, your car needs new brakes, your tractor needs the oil changed. You can have a thousand problems and not have one. But if you get a health problem, then you have one problem and it's the only problem. Now he put it differently. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'm summarizing, but like, think about that. I don't have any problems in the world that are life threatening right now. But let's say I had a health problem. So that, that's what I mean. You gotta take care of yourself and that's mental health, that's physical health. I'm actually down 28 pounds in case anybody was keeping score at home. Have given up alcohol. I have not had a drop of alcohol since April 30th. I've not had an energy drink since August 18th of 23. And yeah, I feel cleaner. I drink a lot of diet pop, which isn't great. I need to drink more water, but to curb that cold carbonated, which is the only reason I had beer and I didn't drink liquor or anything. I just say, I, I drink Corona. That's all I drink. So what I'm saying is, and to each their own, some people drink it. Some people get away with it. Some people exercise enough to get it out of them. And according to my doctor, okay, beer is not going to straight up kill you, but it is empty calories. It's why, it's why I carried an extra 28 pounds. I mean, think about that since April 30th, is that right? I'll look, April 21st is when I started the diet. April 30th, I gave up beer and I'm down 28 pounds. That's nuts, that's nuts. Oh, here come the donkeys, I better let them in. It's gonna get noisy because we're gonna walk over here, hang on. And it might be done regening by now, I don't know. <clears throat> Did you guys get all the cubes? Do you run cleanup over there, Lucy? Lily. But donk, what's up, buddy? What you doing, brother? I think that's everybody. I counted, but I still latched both my gates. Just in case I missed somebody. Yeah. It took me 40 years to get where I'm at. And I wanna make sure I live at least 40. Even if my three boys are doing most of the work the last 20, which to be honest, they could take over most of the work right now. <laughs> Let's be real here. But I earned this work. This is what I wanted to do. I worked my tail end off before YouTube, before all the cows. And sometimes I was doing that for somebody else. Now I've been self-employed in one fashion or the other since 2012 myself. And I did IT things like around the community, my brothers and I did. And uh, yeah, then it turned into YouTube and in 2020, late 2019, kind of per Cog Hill. Uh, yeah, he was my go-to, my, who do I ask about what's going on and what the best thing is? All right, we got some work to do now. And by work, I mean, Miss Ray's gonna make me go to uh, Lowe's, I believe. And we're gonna get some more blocks for the front of the house, dirt. I don't think we're getting flowers today, but I'm not in charge of this mission, so we'll see. But yeah, before I leave you though, it's nap time. Nice thing, where's mama? Been a few hours. Howdy, everybody. So, after running one, two, three, four, six hundred foot garden hoses, we've now got water in the top pasture. I have not fixed the front fence yet. 
because we had to run to Lowe's. We had to get some material. We had to run to trash supply. Um, but I've not fixed the fence up front yet. So they are locked in here. But that is a brand new bale as of this morning. There's another one, I don't know, 150 feet or so in the woods. So they're good. You got to remember, they live all winter long on hay. And they thrive on it. Here it's about four months, give or take. But uh, they'll be completely fine on hay until I can fix the fence up front. It'll also give that grass a time to recover. Um, and then I went ahead, I have more vegetation control and it takes about a week. I think we just lost a bunch of it. Uh, to, here's what's funny. I didn't think vegetation control worked like seeds, but I think it just washed off. And like the grass is dead right inside the fence, but because we're on a slope, it also ran down in the ditch. So the ditch looks amazing, but I definitely need to respray the fence line, but that'll give me time. With them being in here, they've got 350 gallons of water, or they will have when it fills up. And I'm also gonna be able to put a splitter off the hose right here and have my water right here, which this was by design. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, if you've made it this far on the video, first off, let's stand in the shade. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, our intention is not to drill another well. It would be astronomically not cost efficient compared to running a couple water lines, like running an excavator. You know, our frost line's about two feet. Um, we do have a high water table, so I gotta make sure that it's still two feet right here. But I know that they've never lost water in the house and that is not two feet. It's like right at two feet. So I'm gonna run a water line from our well to over here. And then from our well, or I'm sorry, from there, up to here and that's not much you gotta remember at the old farm i ran two inch ubinor like the big heavy duty blue stuff i ran two inch pipe by myself like 800 feet so that's the plan now we don't have to do that because these garden hoses we don't have to do that until like october and right now i wouldn't want to do it anyway because until we thin more of these trees out We've got standing water, which means if I'd bring an excavator back here, oh my goodness, man, you talk about a muddy bucket and a muddy nightmare. This really needs to be done in like July and August. And so you guys remind me, because at that point we should be begging for rain in July and August. All this rain we've got, we are we should be wishing and praying it would rain come July and August. So that's the plan. That's the plan, that's the plan. But all the cows are in here, all the donkeys are in here. I do wish, that's an old hose, not a new one. I went and bought five new ones. I do wish that I would have come in that side right there for that hose. But if they can't get all the way around it, they tend to have shoving matches while they drink water until everybody gets the water they want. Frank even leans on his mom, which if that doesn't tell you how big Frank's getting, nothing does. But regard Miss Bell, she's so patient, so sweet. It's okay, Bell. Push Frank. Shove Frank out of there. Goose him, Bell. Goose him. Get him. Look at Frank. Head down in there. Of course, Glory's in there, man. She can do whatever. Man, her bag's coming in. I half mentioned it earlier. We're getting the bag. We're not puffy on the calf launcher yet, but the bag's coming in, so it's got to be close. She was actually our May baby, but hasn't yet. Oh, wait. Now we can see the baby even better. Look at the little baby. And I'm still watching that afterbirth. Howdy, Nelly. And the panels are gonna go in up there. And then we can walk her through, get her pinned up. I really think Fiona could, Fiona could go through the chute. I do, I think that. I know they look huge, but she's very, very diligent with it. Obviously, I'm not gonna run her through there if she's not comfortable, doesn't like it, whatever. The panels will work just fine to pin her up and get that afterbirth out of there, so. Woo! But yeah, now they've got water. And I did manage to find in town a couple thousand gallon water tanks. So we're gonna go get those. And then we'll have tons of water, man. But yeah, ideally, July and August, we wanna rent a mini X or something like that. And we wanna run water lines straight from the well out here. That way we don't even have to bypass our filter. I would like to come right off the well and come straight over here. So 
All right, well, I'm going to let that fill up. Oh, that was one thing. Okay, where, where's it at? Right there. A lot of you guys have asked me about my cameras. This is an older model. I use Reolink 4G LTE PTZ. The LTE, LTE obviously means it connects to the internet or has its own SIM card through T-Mobile. I think I pay $6 a month for five or six gig and I've never used it all. And I have a YouTube channel where I post the videos all the time, okay? So that's the only package you need. You don't need a huge one. I think I've got, I know how many I have. Let's just say my bill's about over a hundred bucks. But what that means is a hundred bucks a month through T-Mobile and I can see almost every angle of this farm. I can see a couple angles of my gate. I can see my front porch. I can see you before you see me. And if somebody takes the camera, the data's already in the cloud. I can go watch it. You can take my camera and drive all the way to Australia. You're going to need a, a boat as well, but you can do it. And I'm going to be able to follow you the whole way there. Okay. Just wait. Somebody's going to be in the comments. Jeremy, don't have T-Mobile in uh, Australia. I don't know. Maybe they don't. But yes, what this means with that camera right there is I can see the level of the water trough and I can see the level. I'm going to bring the other water trough down here. There's no reason to have it by the house. So now I'll be able to go inside, check that level. And I'm going to put it on automatic. I'm going to be able to regulate it. And yes, when we dig our water lines for back here, I'm also going to put in like post waterers or automatic waterers, like the ones with the floats. Uh, how do I keep them from freezing in the winter? I don't know, Karen. I don't know. One problem at a time, okay? Currently, it's 85 degrees and winter's not on my brain. I can say Karen because I have an Aunt Karen and she's tough enough to handle it. Hey, I knocked down some trees. They were exponentially, uh, amazingly, horribly dangerous. This one especially. And I got lit up in some of the comments. My buddy Brock over at Rock Hill showed how to properly cut down a tree. I didn't watch that video because these trees were already on the ground. Then I went and watched it, so thanks Brock. But anyway, that's not what's supposed to happen. This tree, remember the trees we're taking down are dead, rotten, dying, and gross. This tree, because of where the sun is and the amount of trees that were on this hill, almost every branch of this 50 foot tree was that way. I didn't really stand a chance of getting that tree, not the barber chair. But you know where I was when that tree fell over? Whee! Over here. Because I cut a front, I cut a front notch. I kid you not, it, it wasn't in an inch, maybe an inch on the front notch. And then as it started to peel, because the weight started taking it, it actually took out two other trees. I didn't even have to cut down. As it started to peel, I just ran. I just ran. I just let her fall. Side by side, I left it in the garage. Didn't have to worry about it. It was just me and my saw. The whole family was inside. No animals were around. And I just ran like a track star that I used to be. So now I just, see, I know how to cut a tree. I know that's much smaller, but see that tree right there? Cut that just like you're supposed to. These trees were lopsided. I mean, look at that. Technically, you want to be that side of that tree. This tree right here. You want to be that side of that tree when you cut it because that's the high side. But guess what? That's where all the limbs are. So you don't want to be over there. Well, quit coming over here and telling me that I don't know how to cut down a tree. I know I don't know how to cut down a tree, but I got to learn somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where everybody learned anything before they got on the internet. Before YouTube, before Facebook, before TikTok, Instagram, all that. How did anybody learn anything? I guess from experience. I don't know. I mean, that makes the most sense, but apparently you're not allowed to learn from experience anymore. You have to do it how somebody else, and this ain't anybody but Brock, Brock's my buddy. You have to do it exactly how somebody else saw it. And you have to do it exactly how that person saw that person do it, even if they didn't do it and have never done it and don't even know what a saw. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Of course, cowboy crows right when I'm doing that. Woo. All right. I think I'm good. I think I've been out in the sun too long. Let's go check on Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> What'd mama do to you? Oh, my What'd mama do to you? <laughs> what happened, buddy? Are you in jail? Hey, you know what dad said? Are you in jail? What? We can't call him the wiener anymore. We have to call him the wiener. Aww. Do -ween. But he didn't lose. I think dad's confused. I think dad's confused. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my word. Hmm. Anyway. What? I don't think you actually got that on camera. They didn't start videoing. Oh, That's hilarious. Oscar, or, uh, Oscar. Oscar just crowed. <laughs> Cowboy just crowed. Uh, 
we had Oscar's huevos removed. So, yeah, I might have to go tell my dad what it means when you get a dog neutered. I'm sorry, Oscar. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like a platypus. He's got these massive paws. I love them. Own little area for seven days. Is that right? A couple of days, yeah. And, yeah. Yep, he, yeah. But he's pretty tough. If you start showing signs of uh, getting tough. You can tell he's not very happy about being blocked up. He's not. But he's enjoying the attention. Goose is not enjoying Oscar getting the attention. <laughs> but anyway, Goose got a haircut. Sure did. Got them all cut. Are we tackling the landscaping tonight? Is that what we're doing? No, tomorrow morning. Okay. So tomorrow morning we're gonna tackle the landscaping. And I bet if you want to see a majority of that, you need to go over to our other channel. So yes, shameless plug. Doss Outdoors. That's just need to go watch. So we're building a wall on the other channel. So, all right. With that said, this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. All right. This is Mama, they hurt me. <laughs> Mama drove Oscar. But anyway, with that said, y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. Deuces. Oscars. <laughs> <laughs>